Um, it's been a while, been a minute. It's like a completely different space I'm in now. I have a new apartment um, that's not so new to me anymore. I haven't been really engaging with life in like almost a year. I kind of went through a really intense like manic phase when I just moved into this apartment. And I think that you know, moving and being in a completely different environment, as well as like the chaos that comes with moving, just generally um, kind of knocked me off of my routine and my rhythm. And it just catapulted me into this just mess of energy and emotion and just chaos. And it wasn't all productive or constructive. And obviously, as with people with bipolar would know that is then followed by like a really severe depression which I also experienced and that one went on for months it felt like and then I feel like I kind of leveled out for a bit and now I have no idea where I'm falling on the spectrum but I feel like it's time to re-enter the the world of people so I felt like it was a good time to talk about it. So for those of you who are new, uh, my name's Kelsey. Those of you who are not new, name's still Kelsey. A lot of my life and therefore my social media and this channel are kind of about how I maneuver life with this chronic illness that is complicated and unpredictable, confusing, mysterious, and all sorts of interesting things that are different from day to day. It's kind of like how I manage and, you know, sometimes don't manage because that's life. Since I was like laid off from my job from COVID, felt very overwhelmed going through all these phases of barely functioning as a human. I started to instead uh, dedicate some time to freelancing, freelance as a copywriter and content writer. What I like about that and what I think that freelancing and self-employment appeal to people with chronic illnesses is that you can work on your really good days. I know that when I'm having like very high energy days, I can work really productively and get a lot done. Whereas when I'm not doing as well mentally, physically, I can kind of take on a little bit less. The benefit of this is that I don't have to deal with navigating the still kind of judgmental and discriminatory work world that can kind of be a little bit hostile to people who have chronic illnesses and specifically like mental illnesses. Sometimes you aren't really on top of your game, performing your best, you need time off that, you know, your boss doesn't like or your coworkers kind of get resentful over. That can be like really stressful for a lot of people. I find that going this freelance route has been an experience, but so far I think it's been really positive for me. This is not to say that like everybody's going to do well and that this is gonna be a good fit for everybody, but I still wanted to kind of touch on it and because it is like a huge part of my journey right now, that's kind of why I spend all of my time in my apartment and all of my Instagram stories are of the view from my apartment. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to be open and honest about that and hopefully kind of connect with people who are also kind of struggling with this. On top of the freelancing stuff that I've been doing, I've also kind of been working on creating like little printables for an Etsy shop related to like financing and budgeting because a running theme in a lot of people's mania can be overspending, causing some financial detriment to yourself. And that was definitely me in my last one. And I've discovered that there is like a huge like budgeting community, not just like on YouTube. And so something that I've started doing because I have to at this point is spending and budgeting with cash. I, I don't really trust myself with my cards right now. So I'm sticking to cash. The way that I stick to doing things in just general is making things fun and pretty and kind of like gamification minus the app 
part I like having like little trackers and things and little printable things or things that you can have in your iPad in PDF form that you can kind of track how much you're saving. Just saving for long-term expenses that you're gonna see, whether that's a year, like yearly subscriptions or large expenses that happen at one time. Like I'm gonna have to get my brake pads replace things like saving for travel i just want to like have cute little trackers that keep me motivated it's kind of like the equivalent of ticking off an item on a checklist for me and so i've created some of those using them for myself but also was kind of like maybe i should just like create an etsy store but yeah if you're interested in kind of perusing those too and you want to kind of get on that journey as well like I'll leave that stuff down below. I really want to start not only documenting like the experience of being bipolar and working through bipolar disorder, but also kind of having like an educational component because there's still kind of a lack of understanding around the illness and is it within my capacity to explain it to people through my experience, but also through like the rigorous research one has to do when they're diagnosed with these things. I'm still not an expert, like I still am trying to kind of figure out myself and like how I can better manage it for myself beyond taking medication and like keeping an eye on my sleep and like doing all of those like really basic things. But yeah, I just want to like talk more about it and be open and be honest, not kind of keep this in the shadows because it's, because it is still kind of highly stigmatized because of it's one of those misunderstood or poorly understood disorders that fuse a lot of people and so i'm hoping to get videos out more often and with that probably be like a mix of vlogs with chats about freelancing and doing so with chronic illness chats about mental illness and living with one in my experience because every experience is different especially with a disorder that is as complicated as this one and just life let's see how it how it goes so follow me on social media if you are not already i will link it down below but it is at kelsey c purcell on instagram i'm not on tiktok maybe i'll join it but so far i'm an elder millennial it is what it is pretty much all i kind of wanted to say right now but i will see you guys in the next video which will not be like nine months from now i promise Something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes